This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create this vector 3D triangle abstract concept using Inkscape and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is set the view, let me turn that off, we'll set the view to custom and then we'll zoom in at 100%. We'll open our Align and Distribute menu. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop-down menu. Then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. And the first thing we're going to do is create a triangle. And to create a triangle, I'm going to use the Stars and Polygons tool. And for this, I'm going to, I'm going to select Polygon. I want the corner set at 3. And then Rounded and Randomized, both set at 0. And then once you've done that, just bring the, can uh, the cursor over to the canvas, hold Control and Shift in the keyboard, and click and drag to create a triangle like that. And we'll take the opacity of that and drop that down about in half. And we'll go back to the Select tool. I'm going to right-click that triangle and go to Duplicate. And I'm going to take this duplicated copy and put it up here to the left a little bit. Maybe about that much. Maybe up a little higher, just like that. And then I'll right click that triangle and go to duplicate. And I'll hold control and click and drag this off to the right. Maybe about that much. And once we've done that, I'll click and drag over all three of those. And I'll come down to the distribute panel and make sure that um, we click on make horizontal gaps between objects equal. You click on that and it's going to make sure all three of those triangles are spaced out evenly. And then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the Bezier pen. You can click on it or just press B on the keyboard to get it. And I'll go to the, uh, I'll turn on the snap to cusp nodes. And I'm going to draw a shape connecting around each one of these corners. So I'm going to start at this corner and click, snap it to that corner and click, snap it to this corner, and then that corner, and then that corner, and then that corner, and then back to the starting point. And then we'll go back to the select tool. And then I'm going to take these little triangles in the middle. I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. We don't need them anymore. And I'm going to take this shape here. I'll turn that red. And I'll get rid of the black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X down here at the bottom left corner. And I'll bring the opacity of this down in half. About in half. doesn't have to be exact. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click this shape and go to duplicate. And I'll turn that blue. And I'm going to grab this top right corner over here and snap it onto the top left corner of the red shape like that. And then I'll hold shift and click on the red shape so we have both of them selected. We'll right click that and go to duplicate and then go to path difference. Then we could turn that green. Then we could take this blue shape and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. Uh, we'll go back to the Bezier pen by pressing B on the keyboard and I'm going to draw a shape. Um, I'm going to snap the cursor onto this corner and click and then I'll snap it onto that corner and click. Then I'm going to finish the shape up going around the outside of that, connect it back to the starting point, and then go to the Select tool, hold Shift in the keyboard and click on the green shape, and go to Path, Difference. And then I'll right-click that green shape and go to Duplicate. And then I'll click it a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard, and I'm going to grab this bottom right corner this bottom right arrow and rotate this around counterclockwise until the green object is laying flat. So let me do that. Hold control, click and drag it around until it's laying flat. And that's pretty good. And I'll grab the shape over by this bottom right corner and snap it onto this bottom left corner right here. So just click and drag that over there and snap it on. That's pretty good. I'll hold shift, click on the other green shape, and we'll unify them together by going to path, union. Oops, I accidentally chose difference. Let me do that again. Path, Union. And then I'll right click that green shape and go to Duplicate. And I'll turn that blue. And I'll click this again to get the rotation handles. And again, I'm going to hold Control and rotate this around counterclockwise until it's going upright like that. And I'll take this top corner and snap it onto the top left corner of the green object like that. And then we could take this red object and just delete that by pressing delete on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this blue shape and then hold shift and click on the green shape so we have them both selected. And we'll right click that and go to duplicate and then go to path intersection. Now we could turn that red 
and then we have our little intersection piece like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click that, that red object and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on the blue object and go to path, difference, and then path, break apart. And then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And I'm gonna take just this little blue piece right here and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And then I'll click on these red shapes again. I'm gonna right click that and go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the green shape and go to path difference and then path break apart and what I'll do now is I'm gonna click on this red shape the red shapes one more time and we'll go to path break apart and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold shift and click on this blue shape and then still holding shift click on this red shape and still holding shift we'll click on this blue shape so we have those three objects selected and go to path union and then I'll click on this green object and hold shift click on this red one and then while still holding shift we'll click on this green shape and we'll unify them together by going to path union and what I'm gonna do next is I'll take this blue shape right here we'll right click that and go to duplicate I'll turn that red I'll click this again to get the rotation handles and I'm going to hold control and grab this bottom right arrow and rotate it around counterclockwise until it's sitting flat like that. And then I'm going to take this bottom left corner of the red shape and snap it onto the bottom right corner of the blue shape. So I'll just grab that and snap it on right there. That's pretty good. And then I'll right click the red shape and go to duplicate and then hold shift and click on the green shape and go to path difference. And as you can see there, we have the... Um, we have our shape in place. We have our triangle shape in place. So what we can do next is we can click and drag over this whole thing, bring the opacity all the way up, and we could turn off the snap to cusp nodes. We're done with that. And let's click off of that to deselect it. And what we can do now is just color this in. You can make this any color you want. I'm going to use uh, shades of blue. So I'm going to click on this blue shape, and I'm going to I'm going to use a very light shade of blue, maybe that much. And I'll click on the red shape and I'm going to choose a mid-range shade of blue, maybe that much. And I'll click on the green shade and this will be our darker shade. I'm going to use like a darker blue, maybe like that. And to make this thing pop a little more, we could we could color this in with gradient. So with this with this dark blue one, I'm going to give that a linear gradient. And I'll press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. I'll click on this stop, bring the opacity all the way up then click on this stop and under the HSL tab I'll come down to the L column and slide that to the left to make that a little darker and I'll put this down here and I'll take this one and put it over here I'm just gonna hold control so it goes straight like that maybe I'll even go like this there we go I'll set it going diagonally like that now let's click on the mid shade of blue like that with the gradient tool I'll give that a linear gradient as well click on um, Click on this stop, bring the opacity all the way up, and click on that stop. Slide the L column to the left a little bit to make that a little darker. And we can put the darker stop up here, and then put the lighter stop. Just hold control and bring it straight down about that much. And then finally, we could do the same thing to the lighter shade right here. So we'll click on the lighter shade of blue, give that a linear gradient, and click on that stop. Oops. Give that a linear gradient, click on that stop, bring the opacity all the way up, slide the LCOM to the left a little bit to make that darker. And I'm just gonna hold control and bring this in a little bit, and then I'll hold control and bring this one in a little bit as well. Maybe about that much. Then we can go back to the select tool and click and drag uh, click off of it to deselect everything, and then we can click and drag over all of it and group it together. And there you pretty much have it. That's how you can create that triangle abstract uh, concept using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.